What's one thing that you guys have on your vision board that you really, really want to do as well? Win the Grammy. <laughs> yes! You guys are also nominated for a Grammy as new yeah. artists. Like, that is huge, you yeah. guys. Yes, it is. Like, 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 what goes through your, like, that is like the ultimate. Like, every artist wants to sort of get that sort of recognition. And yeah. Yeah. you guys are sort of new into this, but like, you're already getting that recognition. So, <laughs> like, what does that yeah. mean to you no, guys? No, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. also like, it's really a big honor to only have the nomination. It's like the biggest achievement, of course, and we never thought we could like aim to anything like this. Yeah. So it's like we're still that we're still processing. Like I yeah. think we haven't realized yeah. it yet, but of course it's like incredible because it's the biggest yeah. like award you can aim for. Yeah, yeah it also. is also actually the biggest one we ever achieved. Yeah. Like no, not yet, but like as but a just nomination. Just a nomination. In yeah, itself. Nomination, so as a nomination. Right? So yeah. Also, yeah. because lots of cool things happened in the last one year, so it was they all very you know. Quickly, I don't know how to explain. Very, very yeah, quickly. Very quickly. So it's insane. But I feel like you guys are kind of keeping up, no problem. Like you show up as these rock stars and you're beautiful, like suit chaps. That's what we were calling them. <laughs> at the yeah. And I love what you said. You're like, oh, this is inspired by Gucci and uh, they just made it sluttier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's our fittings every time. They're just like, yeah. okay, this is that for like sluttier, sluttier. And like, okay, sluttier. Honestly, I, when you said that, I was like, oh my God, I feel like I finally met people who understand me because I'm always <laughs> saying that to my stylist too. I was like, where can we add more like scandal here? Like this is otherwise it's boring. But do you guys feel that you do get a lot of say in like in your style and, and all yeah, of that? A lot. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're very bitch about it. So. Absolutely. <laughs> no, because I, I think we got like very specific taste, of course, and yeah. so yeah, it's just like, it. we want to feel like represented by what we wear and feel comfortable, of And that's awesome, because not a lot of people do get to do that, right? Yeah. As like a, new, like a newer group or new artists, like a, a lot of people are sort of told what to do, but this is what I love about you guys, that you can see that you guys have this unapologetic authenticity about you, and I think that's why people have fallen in love with you guys so fast because there's no BS like what yeah. you guys bring to the table you can tell it's truly you I have to Thank ask you. though like you guys are also seen naked together a lot as well <laughs> so are we <laughs> 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 which I also I love because I'm a bit of a nudist as well mm -hmm. but like are we real nudists in real life or is that like a front always no, I do it. Yeah. Always, always. Always. Exactly. <laughs> of course free the nipple. <laughs> You gotta get that 10 right? Always fit in. Always, always. <laughs> always. I love that. Um, you guys also don't shy away from gender stereotypes, which another thing I absolutely love. Like, how important is that to be upfront about that? I think it's like... Yeah, very important. The most important, <laughs> yeah, one of the, the most, most important, important things, I think, to yeah. like give representation to different kinds of people and ideas and whatever. It's just like, when we grew up, especially in Rome, we were always like, told or judged by the way we looked yeah. or sexuality or whatever and I think it's very important to give a representation to all kinds of people and tastes and everything and if we can stand up and speak up about it and like use yeah. our like visibility to help other people feel more comfortable with themselves yeah. it's like the biggest thing we can do yeah and you guys yeah. have so many eyeballs on you right now as well and more and more will be on you as well and I love that you guys took that political stand as, as well against the Poland gay rights as well and made that statement. How important is the LGBTQ plus community to you guys and to always represent them and to make sure that they feel seen? I think that, that in general, if you live in a, in a society where there's many different groups of, of people, it's the bare minimum to recognize everybody as, mm -hmm. as human beings and as existing. And uh, plus that, like a lot of our fans are are in the in the in the community, and of course every time we have the chance to speak up for them and use our our visibility to to uh, speak about topics that has to be uh, yeah. spoken. Of course, we we try to be um, aware enough to talk about it, but yeah. but we also always try to 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 do what has to be done. Yeah, actually. and I love that you guys do it in like a very clever, cheeky way. Instead of, you know, just getting their men talking about it, you're just like, you know what, we're just gonna have a little, a kiss and make a little statement right there. I love that. Sure. You guys also have huge celebrity fans. Um, 
Angelina Jolie, Miley Cyrus, like who would you say has been maybe like a surprise where you're like, oh, so and so likes our music? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I I think I think it's like it's crazy with everyone, but of course when it comes to these big musicians that like we grew up listening from the Stones to Iggy Pop to Red Hot Chili Peppers all these big bands that we got the chance to meet and that they totally know about our music. It's like, yeah. that's the biggest thing because we started like playing thanks to them and yeah. to the way they inspired us and opened the path for like rock music and bands. So if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. And to yeah. think that they appreciate what we're doing is like the craziest it's thing. It's priceless. Yeah, totally. I would say when we played, for example, in Lollapalooza uh, in New York, it was sick. Uh, James Hetfield from Metallica, yeah. he literally um, entering our backstage, right? Yeah. But it was really randomic. Uh, it was like, hey, hello, I spoke with Lars, and he told me that you are a great guy, so I just want to say hello. Mm-hmm. And, but it was very cool. I mean, totally shocking in a positive way of course oh my it god it was super sick yeah because this kind of musician you know that are literally like legend no are really kidding. natural you know and it was great to see that that they are really chill you know does that give you guys more of a mm, we are doing what we wanted to do versus getting like an award like that i, I'm, I can imagine that kind yeah, of yeah yeah it's different I, I think it's of course different because especially when the awards are voted by fans and everything it yeah. shows that there is a massive support you know so it's yeah. like something we're very grateful but of course when we get to see things in real life so rather like during gigs when we actually see our fans or yeah. when we meet artists we admire it it yeah. feels more real because it really absolutely. happens. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I have to talk to you about your like tattoo game. I'm obsessed with tattoos <laughs> myself, and I feel like you're sort of like, are you kind of like the leader when it comes to tattoos? Like, do we all have tattoos? Yeah, yeah we all have, but he's got the most. He's got, you've got the most. Yeah, do you know how yeah. many you have? Uh, no. Really? No. Usually people who have tattoos know how many. We would no, do I'm it. not. I'm not like a couple of And these have this meaning. No, I just. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's you guys were art. to, I know you've only been in Canada for like, what, two days now? Yeah. But if you were to sum up your experience in Canada with a tattoo, <gasps> what mm-hmm. would that be? A snowflake. <laughs> yeah. It's not even cold, my love. What? <laughs> Uh, it's not cold, we're freezing. It's oh not very God, cold, so not so anymore. Cute. You're cute. It gets like minus 20. But that's yeah, actually a really almost, good idea. Do you agree? Yeah, it's I, like, that's a great idea. Not a snowflake no? because it doesn't really it's suit not, with the not, others. It's not a beautiful tattoo. Not a snowflake. It's like something representative. <laughs> like an edgy yeah, yeah, also snowflake. Has to be, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, so something uh, beautiful. Like, uh, like, um, I like that. A scratched out um, snowflake. Yeah, like a like a crazy rock and roll, crazy rock and roll, you know. Like a really another, sad another version of this snowflake. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I love it. That's actually very clever. Um, but listen, I have to say, my daughter and I were obsessed with Eurovision, like absolutely obsessed. And she's gonna be over the moon when she finds out that like we're sitting mm-hmm. down and chatting right now. But Eurovision is also coming to Canada, oh, so lovely. for people who are watching you guys now and seeing this beautiful success story and who are feeling inspired to go on there. Like, what advice would you give somebody going who's about to go on there? Just, just be there yeah, yeah, just be go yourself. there and be there yourself. Like, not try to fit in the, in the TV show. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. go there and play and uh, possibly have an album if you go there. Yeah, and yeah. be yeah. your own leader, your personal yeah. Jesus, you know? Yeah, because people can tell when you're not being yourself, for of sure. Of course. Um, you guys have already accomplished so much. We're going to wrap this up really quickly, but you're a vision. You, you're nominated for the Grammys. You're doing this amazing tour. Like, what's one thing that you guys have on your vision board that you really, really want to do as well? Win the Grammy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah, Let's yeah, make yeah. that happen. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not going to jinx anything, but I feel like you guys are definitely on that road. You guys are so don't jinx ridiculous. It, don't jinx it. Yeah, no, we're not going to jinx anything. Um, but regardless, you guys are ridiculously talented. Um, and it's been so amazing to watch your journey and just to actually see it. Like, I feel like this is obviously just the beginning for you guys. So we really appreciate you guys coming and talking to us. And I can't wait to do this Thank again. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.